Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at five different banana gadgets to see if any of them actually work. That's today's video. There have been banana gadgets on YouTube over the years, but I've gotten requests for quite a few of these recently, so I figured I would take a look and see what my take on these are. Let's see what the five contestants are. So I've got three slicers and two non-slicers. This is gonna be the banana bungee which this is actually a device that you hang your bananas and supposedly keeps them fresh and frees up counter space. I actually got emailed from the company reminding me there's actually a little hook in here. Not to forget that, I guess a lot of people have tossed it. So it looks pretty simple. We'll see how that goes. The next up is the banana bopper. My first impression when seeing this was that's it. It's a thin piece of plastic. It couldn't have cost more than a few cents to make this and I paid eight bucks for this. So all this does is allows you to peel the bananas easily without getting the smushy ends from smashing it when you try to open it. It's supposed to be for kids and anyone who struggles to peel a banana. Interesting name too. And then here we've got three peelers. This is the Progressive Prep Solutions. This cost me five bucks. It obviously doesn't do the entire banana at once, but you can do it in sections and it supposedly works for fruit as well. Now there's a container where you can put your bananas in, but there's no top, so it's obviously not going to be a very long-term solution. The next one comes in a box that says, as seen on TV, I'm pretty sure this was never actually advertised on television. This is a $10 banana slicer. It looks very barbaric. Look at that. Whoa. There's actually something oddly satisfying about that as well. This appears to have the thinnest slices of the three slicers I have, which would probably be good for dehydrating. They also say this one would work well for cucumbers. I'll try that as well. This is the Hutzler 571 banana slicer. The comments are very strange in this one. All the comments are kind of a big joke, but it looks pretty self-explanatory how this one works. You just put your banana down and press. This appears to have the widest slices of all of them. Let me move into the kitchen and get started with the first item, which is the banana bungee. Gadget number one is the banana bungee, and you're supposed to use this tiny little eye screw right here that hangs from the cabinet above clips into it just like that. First thing I do is put a pilot hole up here, put the eye screw in. And there it is. Pretty simple. It's pretty sturdy. Now what you're supposed to do is just clip a couple of these through the bunch. There's one. And there's there it is. Seems like it's working. I'm going to pull a couple bananas off here. I'm going to leave the rest hanging and uh, I'll see how it holds up over time. So far, so good. Let me yank a banana off for my first test on one of my other gadgets. Yay. All right, before I get to the banana slicers, let's get to the banana bopper, which is gonna help me peel all these bananas. Now, this is a pretty simple device here. I mean, that's all there is to it. Very simple. We've got a variety of banana sizes here. I don't know if I have to remove the label first. I, I don't, I assume I don't, but really all you're supposed to do is just press it into the banana and move along the length of it and it should peel it. I'm gonna try a couple of bigger ones and a couple of smaller ones and see how it does. All right, here we go. Oh, it definitely inserted into the banana, I can tell. Is that all there is to it? Let's see. Oh yeah. No smushed ends. We have a nice non-smushed banana. Let's try some more. Press it into the peel and just go along it. Boom. Oh, I'm getting faster at this one now. Oh yeah. Let me keep going. This is uh, almost fun to do. And Boom. I'm flying through these bananas now. I'm gonna do a total of six bananas because I've got three slicers. I'm gonna do two bananas each. So I'm gonna do six total with the banana bopper. And by the time I get down, I'm gonna be bopping all along these bananas. That didn't sound very good, did it? Banana number four. Sweep across the banana. I got a couple smaller ones here. This actually works better than I thought it was going to. I didn't really have very high expectations for this, but it's exceeding those for sure. Banana bopper, banana, pierce the banana peel, slide along the banana peel, reveal the banana inside. All right, I've just peeled six beautiful bananas and I've got to say the banana bopper, horribly overpriced if you ask me, eight bucks for a, a very simple piece of plastic. But I gotta say the banana bopper does what it's supposed to do and that's peel bananas quickly with no mushy ends. So the banana bopper, if you don't mind shelling out eight bucks for it, actually pretty good product. But now let's move on to the slicers. Where do I even begin? Let me begin with the first one I ordered. The first gadget I ordered of all these was the Progressive Prep Solutions Banana Slicer. Now obviously you can't do an entire banana at once, but let's see what we got here. Oh, I see the banana goes up inside. So you don't have to stop what you're doing. Okay, I get it, I'm feeling it. Well, that last one didn't really go in there. I feel like it may be a bit gimmicky, but it did work. It did work. So let me try a small banana and see what happens. Let me show you what I'm seeing here from this angle. This is pretty much it. 
Push it down, it goes up through there. Now it's a banana curves, you got a little bit of a problem. Maybe I'll start on the other end. That last one doesn't like it too much. You measure the, this opening here. This opening is a, just about a quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch slices. That's a bit big for dehydrator. Now you can use it for dehydrator, but that's a little bit thick. Maybe it's better for something like cereal, I guess. All right, I'm not sure this is gonna be the best option though, but let me move on to others and see how they do. All right, I can't wait anymore to try this bizarre banana slicer. The one with all the strange comments on Amazon. I'm gonna try a couple different sizes here and uh, we'll see what happens. I guess all you do is you just put the slicer over it and hope the banana's not too curved like this one is. I guess you just gotta find the right angle and then press. Oh wow, that was pretty quick, I gotta say. These are quite thick slices though. Let me see what we got here. These are half inch slices. Even though it's kind of a silly gadget, that was the fastest I've ever sliced a banana, so I gotta give it some credit. Let me try a larger banana now. This one seems like it's gonna be a little bit more suited to the shape, let's do it. Boom! You know, that is actually quite satisfying to do that. As silly as it is, it's definitely a satisfying object to use. It reminds me a little bit of one of those watermelon slices I did where you push down on the entire watermelon slice in one second. Kind of the same thing. All right, I've got two more bananas to slice and then I've got a couple other things before I wrap this thing up. This is the most primitive looking, it could be very gruesome, but it's also, there's something artistic about it almost. This is how it, is how it goes. That's what you're supposed to do. All right, I don't know if there's a right or wrong way. Let's just, let's just try it. Wow, it jettisoned the banana slices. Hmm, what's gonna happen when a banana starts curving here? <laughs> I, I don't know why that's funny, the way the banana just jumps off of there. But look at this, it seems like it's getting kind of gummed up already. There's already getting some banana in there. Maybe I'll start from the other side where it's straighter. Oh, this one might be a little bit on the messy side. Now what do you what do you do with this? I don't know. Ah. So now I guess I gotta clean this off before I do another banana. I don't know. I didn't have to clean this one off between bananas. I'm just gonna rinse this off real quick. It's got a lot of stuff in there already. I'm gonna try a little faster this time and see how it goes. Speed test. Oh, I don't like that. Oh. I just dropped a piece on the floor. Let me measure these slices. These are much thinner. These are not uniform. About 3 sixteenths of an inch. The thinnest of the slices. Here's all three slices. The banana Schneider, $10 German one. Here are the thick ones from the Hutzler. And then here is the prep solutions. Small, medium, large. They all worked, but some are better than others. <laughs> Two more quick tests to do that are not bananas. The banana Schneider is supposed to also do cucumbers. Let's try that out. And will a cucumber even fit in there? Like it doesn't even fit. This is just a standard cucumber. I mean, this is not even an extra large cucumber. Let me try at least one pass through there. Let's see. Oh, no way. That's not gonna cut a cucumber. Not gonna cut this one at least. Maybe a very small, very weak cucumber. Standard size cucumber, not gonna happen. It's not getting through there. I would say this banana schneider is not good for cucumbers. Final test of prep solution, supposedly good for strawberries. Now that would make sense. Let's try it out. Let's see if it actually does work on strawberries. Oh yeah. All right, Prep Solutions definitely works on strawberries, maybe better than bananas even. Those are very nicely cut. All right, if I had to rank these based on my brief experience with them today, I would say number five would be the one I'm not sure the name of, which is either the Banana Schneider or the Fire Kilnan. I feel like this one takes a little more effort because it kind of gums up and you have to clean it off between uses. It does make the thinnest slices, so that's good as far as that goes, but I'm not sure with all the work involved, it's actually faster than a regular knife. For number four, I'm going with the Prep Solutions Progressive Banana Slicer. I think that it does work. It works better on strawberries but this is another one that's not really faster than a regular knife. Number three, I'm gonna go with the Hutzler 571 Banana Slicer. As goofy as it is, and especially all the comments that make fun of it, it does work. It's very fast. It's not really small slices like for a dehydrator, but if you wanna fly through a bunch of bananas, this actually works pretty well. For number two, I'm gonna say it's the Banana Bopper, which is surprisingly effective and useful. The only reason I don't like this number one is because it's eight bucks and it's probably a 50 cent piece of plastic, maybe 10 cents, maybe one cent, I don't know. But when you do have one, it certainly works. And once you've used it, you probably not wanna go back. So I think the Banana Bopper works quite well. And that takes me to number one. I think the most useful is probably the Banana Bungee because it's something that I'm going to be using on a regular basis. I always have bananas on my counter. This will take them off the counter and free up from counter space, which is actually a big deal to me. So uh, to me, the banana bungee is the top pick of these. If you've used any of these products, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time.